Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 36, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We went to the uh, 12,000 BC, the gate that was set when we when Lavos fell, and we found out that we are in the magical floating kingdom of Zeal. We went through Enhasia in the previous episode, and we're continuing our discovery of just what is here. We've got this lovely little bit of island up here that is uh, all nice and pretty and wonderful, and a very familiar looking pyramid off on the right there. Or actually, I should go that way because the camera's reversed. Um, <laughs> and let's see what else we got up here while we're at it. The black bird, you say? Hmm. Why are you here? All is well with the blackbird, I presume? He is fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is, you blundering idiot. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You, what are you doing there? Hmm, those clothes. You must be the ones the prophet said would come to interfere. I think I shall watch for the time being and see how he plays his hand. Not that I suspect he'll tip his card so easily. Um, what? Why do I feel like I'm the only one? Am I the only one confused? The blackbird's a symbol of zeal's advancement. Never dreamed a thing so big could fly, huh? Prophet said we'd be here? Okay, so let's try Kajar. Kajar, Kajar. Um, hmm. Okay, this seems to be mostly... Okay, yep, this mostly seems to be learning. This is the magic city of Kajar. We perform research in the magical arts to help further Her Majesty's plan to deliver our kingdom even greater glory. Mm-hmm. Your power differs from ours. It's difficult to describe, but in you I sense a strange kindness. Mm. Mm-hmm. In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of a rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. Really? But now only the guru of life knows the art of creating such things, and even if others did, the queen has ordered us to abandon the use of the sun's power. Ah, uh, such beauteous contentment there is in a newly blossomed bud. Would that I could be a flower. Um, okay. This is a font of recovery. I mean, not that we need it, but I never pass up free hit point and... Okay. Wind. Alright, so we got earth, wind, and fire. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's the band. Uh, we got wind, water, and fire, and I think we want to do this a little different. That's the Sun Temple which you see on the Southern Sky Isle. The Sunstone, once our primary source of power, was enshrined there. However, the temple was sealed up along with the Northern Shrine once we turned to our new energy source. The Queen claimed we'd no need for the energy of the tired old sun. Tired, you say? Uh, hmm. Oops, there you go, bumping into the mic, trying to get a little caffeine in me. Okay. In new too? At new? Oh, okay, you're just going to sell stuff. Stuff I don't need. I have platinum armor too, but I need Her Majesty's permission to sell it. You know, how much extra gold does it take to get you to sell me the platinum armor anyway? Hmm? Why'd you even tell me? All right, there's the fire book. Oh, no, that's back there. 
Those lacking magic are known as the earthbound ones. They have always lived beneath the clouds. It's only fitting. After all, they lack our talents. Hmm. Alright, so there's our water. My, you've an unusual aura. You must possess the gift too. Yours seems very primitive compared to ours though. You poor thing. Oh, don't poor thing me. I'll poor thing you. How is it that we came to have the powers we do? Why do some possess the gift while others lack it? It is a conundrum. Thank you for that enlightenment, good sir. I think. Her Majesty Queen Zeal has two children, Lady Shala and young Lord Janus. Lady Shala is an incredible child with extraordinary magical powers. With such a gift, her life must be all ease and luxury. Uh-huh. What tempest must rage in young Lord Janus's head? His only friend other than his sister is that cat that follows him about. Oh, I see something. Come on, give me the tab. I see it shining up there. How do I toss somebody up there? <laughs> We've been seeing a great deal of young Lord Janus lately. Before he scarcely showed his face, but now he paces around quite often, always looking upset. Uh, before I head into the next room, I want to go Water, Wind, Fire. So we've got... Nope, wrong one. We've got Water. We've got Wind. And Fire. Um, obtain an unidentifiable object. Okay. But inside is a black gemstone. Oh yeah, that's right. That's going to become important. It all began aeons ago when man's ancestors stumbled upon a shard of strange red rock. Its power was beyond human comprehension. It cultivated dreams and gave birth to love and hate. Would this be the dream stone we used earlier? Only time will tell how it ends. Dun dun dun. Alright, inventory, if I remember. Yeah, black gemstone. Enables eternal darkness triple tech. So that means that one of the people is going to have to use an item to get a triple tech. I just don't remember who that is. I'll have to look that up later. It's nothing I want to worry about just, just yet. But it's good to know. Ooh, and what do we have here? The gurus of life, time, and reason dwell in zeal. Their knowledge and skill is without equal. Zeal's progress stems from our new energy source. Its power far surpasses that of the sun's elemental energy. Hmm... I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I do not know the details, but I heard he has powers most uncanny. Okay. I've been working to fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skill, but my precious products have been disappearing in recent days. It must be that naughty new that took them. They do so love pranks, he's no doubt hidden them all about. How can I work like this? I heard Lady Shala's powers far surpass those of her mother. Then there's her brother, young Lord Janus. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but doesn't seem to have the faintest trace of magical ability. Really? A guru once told me that the Sunstone once held all the nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, that energy was slowly depleted and turned into the lightless moonstone. Hmm. Know you this, traveler? The moonstone could be restored to a glorious sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm light. But such would require eons. None of us will ever witness that glor gorgeous glow again. If only we had a way to travel through time. 
from like the prehistoric era to the distant future. Water summons when the wind makes fire dance, which has been the key to all the doors. Something I needed to do this guy though. I don't remember what it was. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was the one that yeah, that was the one that was hanging up there. What do we got up this way? The structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the Ocean Palace, a symbol of our queen's greatness. The palace is the beacon of light which will guide us to a brighter future. All praise the great and wondrous queen zeal. She's watching, isn't she? The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace. They're being allowed to. It seems even they have their purpose. I'm going to gather this isn't going to end well. The construction of the Ocean Palace has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's finished. We'll see it in the sea. Behold, that out the window is the great black bird, built by Balthazar, the guru of reason. Also the name uh, ascribed to one of the three wise men, but anyway. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it alive. The guru is a genius. Yes, the wise man. All right. Um, you didn't tell me anything useful. You're just going to sell. Okay. So you're not going to be useful. I think I'm supposed to learn from one of these guys. Maybe I'll remember later. This is... And we're going to teleport up another small cave. We're going to teleport up another small cave. And on to Zeal Palace. I know, today's been an exposition heavy day, and I apologize for that. We should be getting some more action soon-ish. I'm trying to think, yeah, we should have enough time to do to do this. Oh, yeah. It would be nice to see. Well, this is, um, if you're talking by remastered, if you're talking about with the graphics engine, uh, this is the remastered version. The um, graphics, we bumped that back to the original. That That's what we were, uh, <laughs> that's the original. So, oh, uh, remade is in completely from the ground up. Yeah, that could be very interesting. This is the Queen's Palace in the center of the Magic Kingdom of Zeal, which is to say this is the center of the universe. I don't think that's how that works. I mean, the Queen might think so, but that's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. The portal of the Ocean Palace is in Her Majesty's audience chamber. Mind you, it hasn't been completed yet. The source of our energy rests deep below the sea. Once its exact location was determined, we began constructing the Ocean Palace there. Hmm. That wandering prophet is amazing. Every prophecy to escape his lips has come to pass. It's as though he already knows the events to come. Unnerving, is it not? You don't say. My, what strange clothes. You must be travelers from afar. Use the font of recovery if you'd like to recuperate from your long journey. Do you like plants? Sure. Oh, I love them too. But the queen ordered me to burn this tiny sapling I received from the guru of life. 
He said it was a special tree with powers to restore the earth. What shall I do? This is another one of those inflection points. I'm going to go, go ahead and say grow it in secret. You're right. Queen's orders, though they may be, it wouldn't do to burn a gift from the guru of life. Very well, then. I'll care for it somewhere safe and secret. Someday it just may help someone else who loves the earth and trees. Hey. Oh, Itchy, could you scratch my back? Sure. Oh, wonderful. Oh, right there. You got it. Thank you. Discovered the news scratching spot. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna let that one sail right on by. That man appeared only recently, but he earned the Queen's trust quickly with his startling accurate predictions. His origins are a mystery. He's not one of us, enlightened ones, but nor is he an earthbound one. From where could such a man have come? Get out of the way, dude. I'm trying to open the book. Or not, apparently. Where are you? Where are the Balthazar, the guru of reason, maintains a secret chamber in Enhizu and Kajar? Oh, you mean like the ones I've been wandering into? You do best to speak to the queen or the gurus if you wish to learn of the Mammon machine in the Ocean Palace. <laughs> the money machine? Oh, wait. But just between you and I, I'd not place much faith in any answers Her Majesty gave you right now. She's been different as of late. Well, that's good to know, too. Oh, 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 before I forget, we just learned the new scratching spot, and we were wondering about the one dude that's just standing there without any apparent interaction. So, uh, let's go backtrack just a little bit. And let's see, where was that Yahoo? He was up in the corner. This one? This one. Scratch, scratch. Ooh. Scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch. Hey, we get a magic capsule. I don't want to know where it was. I don't want to think this one too much. We're just going to take the magic capsule and be on our way. <laughs> All right, round and round we go. And back up the lights will travel. Oh, ah. bloody oath. Okay. There we go. Now we'll make our way back up to Zeal Palace the rest of the way. Oh, I keep doing that. I just want to be enlightened. No, sorry. Hmm. All right, and we already did the talking on that side, so let's go this away. That pendant of yours, it looks like Lady Shala's, but it doesn't glow like hers. Hmm. The Queen's two children get along so well. If only young, young Lord Janus would open up to others. By the way. Oh, we don't seem to be able to open up that book either. Maybe, okay, maybe there weren't any books to open up this go-round. Beings that are born of dreams must always return to them in the end. But at times, people's dreams and prayers call upon the power of Lavos and are made real... Wait a second. The power of Lavos? Hmm... You guys look familiar too, don't you? <laughs> I wonder how the guru of life is doing. What are we supposed to do without him? 
humans, I'll tell you. I want to be the wind, Masa. Oh, you will enough. Our big sister Doreen went to Anhasia again. Yeah, she likes to dream. And dream another dream. I like the wind better than dreams. Whoosh. So, we just ran into Masa and Moon. Curiouser and curiouser. What else do we have in this palace? Even Balthazar, who designed the Black Bird in the Ocean Palace, has vanished. How strange that the three gurus who guide Zeal to his present glory have all disappeared at once. They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He strives to make a time egg or some such nonsense, but no one has seen him for years. Really? I'm trying to be systematic about this and go level by level. So what's on this level? The Queen's Council, Lord Dalton, was in charge of the Ocean's Palace construction until a wandering prophet arrived and took over. Lord Dalton's in a foul mood these days. Best avoid him if you can. The completion of the Ocean Palace will secure everlasting glory for the Kingdom of Zeal. There will be more, no more fear of fear or sadness, only eternal peace. Yes, but is this peace at all costs? The queen must have borne a great deal of pain and sorrow in silence. Progress requires equal sacrifice. Much must have been given to allow zeal to attain the glory it now knows. All right, so now we're getting into three last doors. What's this guy got to say? This way we'll take you to the bed chambers. All right, that was how we got to the palace. This way leads to the queen's audience chamber. Listen to me. The earth is alive and always has been. She changes slowly so you never see it. From flatlands into mountains, from mountains into seas. A way may someday open even to the forbidden shrine in the north or to the sun temple. But it could take untold years. Hmm... This way leads to the Mammon Machine Chamber. All right. So, we got three doors to choose from. And we're about 22 minutes in, so we're going to go ahead and say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. And if you haven't already, follow on Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>